Hi, how you doing? Today we're gonna look at some SQL Server Management Studio hacks or some tips and tricks that I like to use while working to give me more of an understanding on the environment I'm looking after. It always surprises me not many people are aware of you can do this, so I thought I would do a quick video on it. I'm gonna to go to Object Explorer. If that's not there, I can click View, Object Explorer. And I'm gonna to connect to the server that I'm looking after and then using either F7 or View Object Explorer details. Now what this will do is this will give us an overview of whatever node I'm selecting up here. And it's quite customizable in some places. So we've obviously got all this sort of stuff down here you can look at, which is great, it's handy. If I click now here, then it's got the name, recovery models, collation, owner, and I can right click, I can obviously move these around as well if I want, although it's not working there. There you go, I can move them around. And I can right click here and add any of these columns, which is really good. Now, my favorite ones to add, I would say, are these ones here. These are ones I use quite often and the size, because it tells me how much index spaces I've got and whether it's worth investigating to see whether there's any unused indexes, what space you've got available, because we could shrink it to create some space, perhaps after we've used compression. But let's just add these and have a look. So I'm gonna remove these, I'm gonna right click and go to recovery model, collation and owner and get rid of those. Then I'm gonna look at size and do, um, do it by name here and then I'm going to look at how much space is used. Space available and what index space is in there. This is really good, it shows us the size of it, shows we've got some space available in AdventureWorks. To be honest, in this case, it's hardly any, but it's worth it in some quite large instances. It's worth having a look at this. But what we can do as well, we can expand and we can look at, so have a look at Stack Overflow. We can drill down even further. If I clicked on this, there's not many columns to add in this case, but I can drill down into tables and I've got all sorts of things in here. So if I, if I get rid of policy health stakes, it's showing us nothing. And I might not be interested in the create date of each of these tables, but I can look at data space used index space used, which again, very handy to know. And row count, let's see which, which one's my largest table in terms of rows, because it might not be my largest in terms of size. So we can see that here, votes, it's not quite as large as comments. And we've got all these other ones as well, is partitioned. In this case, none of them are. If I drill down into AdventureWorks though, we can look and it'll populate that and there should be, there we go, from a previous tutorial, sales order detail is partitioned. Now, I think this is quite easy in terms of, it saves you running scripts sometimes. Sometimes if you're supporting users and you wanna see, say, someone can't log in, is the account disabled? Is it locked? This sort of stuff, you can find stuff out quite quickly without drilling down into each account. And you can, it's just an at a glance view of everything you're looking after. So I suggest start using this. Quite handy little tips and tricks. Let me know what you think in the comments. If I've helped you, good, enjoy.